Evelyn Nichols' ancestors took up residence amid the beauty of the Henderson County Mountains in the 18th century. Evelyn grew up playing in the fields around this stream in East Flat Rock. Now, each month, Evelyn Nichols kneels by Bat Fork Creek, which runs behind her house, to check for toxic chemicals. In 1988, Evelyn learned that the stream and many area wells had become contaminated with perchloroethylene from toxic waste sites at the nearby GE plant. When they come to my home, to my mother's home, and they said one Friday afternoon, and this was General Electric's environmental people, they said, don't drink the water, there's nothing wrong with it. And I, that to me, something clicked and it said to me, Evelyn, there's more to the story. And so I started pushing. That visit in 1988 pushed Evelyn Nichols into action. Going against GE was no small task for this mother of two. GE is one of the largest employers in the area, and her husband is one of its employees. We discussed possibilities of them taking action, and, and uh, we decided right off the bat that our family and our home was first priority and a job was second. If I got the acts out there because of our action, I would find employment otherwise. I've always said she'd jump on a grizzly bear and not back down, but uh, she does know when to back off and uh, she knows when it's worth fighting for and when she sees something that uh, it's even an uphill battle. If the end result is worthwhile, she's a person that will give her all to achieve that goal. Evelyn established Concerned Neighbors of GE. Her organization issued a report about toxic leaks from the GE plant which were contaminating local wells. She appeared on local news programs and organized community meetings. She and the concerned neighbors of GE challenged the Environmental Protection Agency to formulate a responsible solution to GE's toxic waste. Today, the GE factory is a Superfund site, and cleanup plans are being developed. Evelyn became more involved in other community activities, many of which originate out of the East Flat Rock Community Club. She edits the club's newsletter and started a recycling program. Evelyn has become the person people seek when they have community concerns. So you got your yeah. Betty Edwards is the president of the community club. When this old fairground was proposed as the site for a new school, Betty remembered that a gully on the land had been used as a dump. Concerned about the health risk to students if the school was built here, she turned to Evelyn Nichols. She's uh, a person that if you have a problem that you can go to and ask her the way that you should handle something. She's just the type of person that she cares and she's, if a concern comes up and she can do anything about it, then she'll be doing the bookwork in the backbone to search out what's going on. Soil and water tests sought by Evelyn documented that the proposed school site was contaminated with toxic waste and a new location was chosen. East Flat Rock has experienced the growth of a new grassroots citizens involvement since Evelyn began her fight against GE's toxic waste. She led the successful efforts to turn this abandoned school into East Flat Rock's first city park. The school building will house a daycare center. When developers began building densely packed trailer parks that did not have room for children to play, Evelyn led the effort to get East Flat Rock zoned, even though she had to attend more than 60 meetings in the process. Controls, radio station WHKP, this is Bill Prim. Bill Prim hosts a community talk show on Hendersonville's WHKP radio station. He has witnessed the growth of citizen involvement in East Flat Rock. A lot of communities, you just need somebody, everybody cares, but you need somebody to be the leader. And uh, Evelyn has leadership qualities, and like I say, she had good people helping her, too. Lucy King and some of the others that have assisted her there, and they look to her as being a leader. 
and they got the community organization very active out there, and they just don't give up. I mean, I have to say that they're as dogged, uh, uh, like a bulldog in the fight. Uh, they're there, and they just never give up until they succeed. Renee Coomer, chairman of the Henderson County Commissioners, has seen the effect of Evelyn Nichols' advocacy. She believes she knows why Evelyn has been so effective. She cares the most. She uh, has the time to, she does, she may not have any more time to give than anybody else, but Evelyn has put the community as a priority, and that's what makes a good grassroots activist, and maybe to the detriment sometimes of what she would have done for herself or what she would have done around her home or uh, any other choices that she made. Evelyn clearly has said Henderson County and specifically East Flat Rock come first. Lucy King is one of Evelyn's closest friends and has worked hand in hand with her through the GE fight. She thinks we can all learn a lesson from Evelyn. I think the lesson in, in our situations here and in Evelyn's work has been that an ordinary person can make a difference. We seem to think we have no talents, maybe we don't have education enough to handle this thing or that thing, you know. Uh, but that's not what it takes a lot of times. It takes uh, uh, a, a caring attitude and more than anything else, and giving of yourself. I think this shows that an ordinary, everyday mother can make a big difference in other people's lives. As for Evelyn Nichols, the knock on the door by GE began a history of involvement and leadership that has made her realize that she is more than a conservative housewife and mother. Do you know, I remember the first time that someone called me an activist, and I thought, gosh, I'm not an activist. And then I, then I realized I really was. I was an activist for East Flat Rock. And that's like the first time I was called an environmentalist. I thought, I'm not an environmentalist. I always thought environmentalists were the people that was out hugging trees. <laughs> but I was an environmentalist. And, you know, I always thought that was for the more liberal type people. But then I found that I, I Evelyn Nichols, conservative, was an environmentalist and an activist. <laughs>